this is the hair coming from Sheila Hair. This is the box it comes in. It comes with a bunch of little, it's a bob curly unit, 14 inches long. It comes out of the package beautifully, okay? Like, I saw nothing wrong with it. It's laying super flat, look the part. It's so detailed, it's perfect, okay? So that was the, what the unit looks like, that's the inside of it. I'm just going to make sure the lace is tinted with my Maybelline powder. This powder is in the color 375. Perfect. That's what we want it looking like. Now I'm going to place the unit on to see where I want it to sit. I mean, this unit is so freaking cute, y'all. Like, it just looked cute when I put it on. I love it. First, I'm gonna cut off the excess ends. Um, that's just too long, you know, like once it falls over your ear. So I'm just gonna cut off the side part. And I'm just gonna measure it to make sure it's even so it hits perfectly on both sides of my head. Also, using a brown or tan wig cap can be very helpful with making it transparent so it can like just look very natural as possible. So I'm liking this brown wig cap. All right, so what I do is I take it section by section when it comes to um, making sure the wig is secure when you're only using the got to be spray. So I'm gonna start with the sides first making sure they're as secure as possible because you don't want it shifting and you don't want it to be like more on one side or the other. But what I do is I take my rat tail um, tooth comb and I just hold it down on that side and I also use my blow dryer because that heat will just help it dry down a little bit faster and um, that way you don't sit there with the process of it taking too long. So, and it also, it's really secure this way guys. Like it won't budge. However, if you're gonna have a rough day that might require you using or moving your head a lot, I would suggest probably having a little more secure um, substance for that, like a gel or glue or something. But the spray for this purpose just works just fine. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that for each section. I do four sections to make sure it's secure. And then I just kind of comb it out because if you are a frequent user of the Got To Be Spray, you know that it gets a little hard sometimes. Um, you know, it just gets a little hard and it's not anything that I think you can like really hide. But um, yeah, so once that's secure, I'll cut off the little section that I glued down of the lace. And then I just follow the natural hairline of the wig because you want to make sure it's not just a full curved, um, hairline you want to make sure it looks natural as possible so once you comb through that um, glue it gives it that natural look so as you can see I did the middle part but um yeah I just do it section by section and I'm gonna do it again so you guys can see that it will be very secure every time I see this damn brown hairline it makes me quiver All right, now everything is off and it's secure and it's not moving or going nowhere. We're going anywhere. It isn't moving or going anywhere. So now I'm going to use um, that same powder that I tinted the lace with to put into my part to make the part look a little bit more natural and blend in with my skin a little bit more. But do you guys see the detail? how this wig is like cut in sections um, for the parting space. They did their thing with this frontal. This frontal's amazing. So now I'm just going to add some earrings to give myself a little fixy fix. Then I'm gonna add my little quick gloss because I don't want to have dry lips. 
And next, because I just love the wet hair look, not that this doesn't look bad, um, I'm using water that has a little bit of leave-in conditioner in it, and I'm just going to give my hair the nice wet look. Um, it doesn't look bad when it's dry, because right now that's kind of combed out, but once it dries down, it, it looks pretty much the same, but I, you can just tell the extra wet look. So that's what I'm adding to it super cute i love it and that's that with my hair Alrighty, hi guys my name is kaya welcome to my channel hair is in my mouth disgusting okay anyways welcome to my channel guys if you are new if you are new what's up and welcome um i am reviewing this bouncy bouncy deep curly unit for you guys today and let me just say she is super summer appropriate okay like do you okay we're just gonna get into it but i just want y'all to see how much body this wig got before i even get into it so you can already tell i like it i mean like my hair is moving okay stiff wear stiff wear let me go ahead and give you a little bit of bit of details i want to say thank you to sheila shayla hair for sending me the unit first off um because i really don't know how to pronounce it but i'm gonna put it on the screen so you guys know how it's spelled which is why i'm a little bit confused on how to pronounce it so a little bit of details on the wig um this is a curly bob 13 by 6 lace frontal wig it's 14 inches and can we just get into how cute the 14 inches is okay because me i usually really like for my wigs to be long i just really like long hair i mean i could do 14 but i usually like long but this 14 is like i'm all the way here for it because i actually feel like you're getting 14 inches of curls now imagine if this was straightened probably be a little bit longer but this is legit 14 inches of curls because it's touching my shoulders like this is where i want my curls to be okay and this is how flat i want my curls to be i don't want to have this super duper like big hair where my hair is sitting like out here i love how this is laying against my head and it's flat even when it dries it's still flat i just sprayed it with water because i like the wet look so i'm gonna put the wig link below for you guys to be able to get this wig because you need it like you legit need it for the summer i know it's july but you still need to go ahead and get it because you still got time to wear this unit okay so this is a 180 percent density wig like i said it's super flat but yet it's still full like it's a very very full and detailed wig it's really they really put some work into this okay let me go oh, also tell you guys i did not pluck this unit so this wig is not plucked it's placed on but it's not plucked i'm so sorry for that powder right there that's on my face let me go ahead and correct that powder is on my face because as you saw in my um previous clip oh well that's just I'm not gonna go into it for right now you saw my previous clip i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys i put the bleach on the knots to bleach the knots because it's it was a pretty white lace okay so it was a really white lace but um i bleached the unit or bleached the knots and it kind of bled not even kind of it bled as you saw in the previous clip and i also put it right here on the screen too it bled um so it caused like my roots to be pretty blonde but what I did since I don't have any black hair spray or black hair dye as of right now I use black eyeshadow matte black eyeshadow because it stays and it won't go anywhere and it just makes it look a little bit more blendable versus just having like really light roots so as you can see now it has a really nice color to it yeah so you saw how I applied the unit with just got to be hairspray no gel no extra Dim not dimension extra glue to like really really secure it um the only way i would recommend doing just the got to be spray for me personally and if you want to hear my experience i would say only if you're like going out to like a quick dinner or something like if you're going out for like an hour two hour dinner that's when i would do the got to be spray just the got to be spray because it's not super secure like this definitely will come off if i just 
you know give it a little tug but it's secure to not like be sliding so that's why I say maybe if you're just going to a dinner like a quick run quick airing you can do the got to be spray because it's really quick you just spray it and then hold your um, blow dryer on there for a little bit like 20 30 seconds make sure it's you know pretty secure and then you're good to go i'm also going to put their instagram website all that in my description box below so make sure you check that out if you are interested in getting the wig if you have any questions about the wig let me know by leaving a comment below but the wig is really nice you guys it's um super soft like it's really not hard at all didn't have to pluck it all i did was cut the lace off you guys saw from the previous clip i included everything in there so yes if you guys are interested in more videos make sure you leave this video a thumbs up um, comment below and subscribe to my channel. Check out ShaylaHair.com. ShaylaHair.com. I don't know how I'm pronouncing it, but just check out the description box. If you have questions, you know what to do. Leave a comment below and I'll answer it for you. I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thank you again to Shayla, Sheila Hair for sending me the unit. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.